and more than 223,000 homes and businesses without power in Florida and Georgia already as Hurricane Helene moves in to help get power back on. Hundreds of Arkansans are there right now riding out the storm. Neil Zarang spoke with some of them today. He's in Little Rock where some of those linemen left from yesterday. Neil. Yes, Donna, they're in Florida and Georgia now, and it's been a pretty intense wait as they got all the fuel they needed and the food they need to make it for possibly days without a store being open. While most people are following a mandatory evacuation for Helene, linemen are heading into the storm. They're calling it a beast. This is, they're saying even top 10 hurricanes for Florida. Mike maddie has been doing this since 1997, going into the roughest conditions so people can see relief sooner rather than later. 53 other line workers with electric cooperatives of Arkansas are with him in Keystone, Florida. That should be just east of the storm's eye around midnight. You got to mentally prepare for it. And we have a lot of guys are on the fifth floor in a motel here. And they're like, you know, I think I'm going to stay on the bottom floor during that. Once the storm passes, they'll be busy. For how long? They don't know. Linemen in Georgia will see Helene next. Energy Arkansas sent about 200 of their crew while maintaining a reserve for our state. We do recognize today that there is some storms that potentially could impact Arkansas, and we are prepared for those um, and watching those just like uh, around the clock. And while time is very important for those who lose power, it's not their own time the linemen are thinking of first. We're here so we're done. They're thinking of the people who would be powerless without them. When they get power, after even after two days, they're just amazed. And then you get the ones that are 20, 30 days, and they're ecstatic. Maddie told his team that it could be a month before they can come back, but that's just based off his estimations and experience. There's really no telling until they're able to get out there once the storm is fully passed through. They just got back from Louisiana and Hurricane Francine just a couple weeks ago. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, back to you.